Okay, so you've got your shiny new chain and sprocket kit. You fitted the new front sprocket and rear sprocket and torqued them up to the manufacturer's settings. You're now at the point where you're looking to flare the rivet. There's your flaring pin. There's the rivet. But what's this? My rivet is solid, it's not a hollow link. I can't use my flaring pin to flare this rivet. This one is the Whale Chain Riveter, uh, code CBT480RVT. In this case, this is a impact riveter. So the idea being that you tighten the tool up to your chain link so that that's nice and snug. <clears throat> you feed the riveting tool into the back and you hammer the back of the plate. It only just sticks through there. You can see it just coming through the end. It only just goes through but that's sufficient to complete this four stake solid rivet. So we're doing we're doing the we're doing the top and the bottom rivet and it will look like this one of these factory quad stake rivets when when the job's complete. Just back that off. Let's have a look. Let's see if that's making a start. Yeah, that's just starting to go. We'll do four sides just like the factory rivets are done. Nice and tight. Always make sure that you've got it centred over the rivet. That's coming along very nicely. So as you can see, now that these rivets have been punched, these solid rivets have been punched, they now take on the appearance of the factory quad stake rivets. And that's exactly what you're looking for. Final word on chain tension. Manufacturer guidelines are that the chain slack should be between 25 and 35 millimeters. And I would always recommend that you use a ruler if you're, you know, if you're new to bikes and uh, setting chain tension. Then use use an actual measure to measure your chain slack. But what I've found is that as long as the back of the chain touches the, la the last part of the plastic chain guide on the swing arm. That gives me about 35 millimeters of play. I'm not going to allow the chain to sort of hang at any point um, and that isn't so tight that it's, uh, it's going to either affect the suspension or put strain on bearings. So I thought I'd just mention that before I close off. Ride safe.